This year is the fifth annual NYU Sandbox Percussion Seminar, and we are super excited to be offering four full scholarships. We invite percussion students from across the country to come to New York City to rehearse and perform alongside members of Sandbox. So when you come to the seminar, you'll be placed in a chamber group uh, that includes one of us in it. And we spend most of the day, every single day, rehearsing chamber music with that group. The highlight of the whole week is our culminating concert at National Sawdust. Sawdust is an amazing venue in Brooklyn that, that we love to play at, um, and it sort of gives all of us, the Austin Sandbox and all the participants, something really meaningful to work for during the entire week. On the last day on Saturday, we go down to Sawdust and it's a professional concert. We spend all day sound checking and dress rehearsing, we live stream the concert, we get a recording of it afterwards. It's a professional experience in Brooklyn. Each year at the seminar, we like to invite a few guests to talk a little bit about their own unique career in the music world. One of our guests this year is going to be Molly Joyce, composer. She's actually going to be writing a piece, a percussion quartet, specifically for the seminar to workshop with the participants. This is something we're really excited about because in the professional world, getting to work with composers is really one of the best parts about the job. So we're so excited that we're going to be able to give that experience to our participants. One of the other guests we're going to have at the seminar is Doug Perry. We're super excited to have Doug because he's a really close friend of ours and a close collaborator and has been for a really long time. Doug is a really unique voice in the music world. He's a performer, a teacher, he records and produces a lot of his own music and arrangements. He also arranges a lot of different genres of music. And he's gonna talk a little bit about how these many disciplines have come together to create his professional life. It's a great honor for us to invite our former teacher, Robert Van Seis, to the seminar this year. He's one of the most inspirational figures in our life. He really helped us to discover what areas of music making we wanted to build into our career. We really hope that he'll be an inspiration for all of our participants at the seminar. The evening classes at the seminar are a great opportunity for all the participants and the guests and the four of us to all come together at the end of each day. We have conversations about topics that certainly apply to music but also have a more general relevance. Uh, these can be topics about communication and problem solving or goal setting and creating a meaningful career in music or in any field. They often take on a life of their own because they're not just driven by our experiences but they're really tailored to the experiences and questions of the participants. We also recently started a collaboration with the NYU Composition Department where one of their students will write a piece for the whole group of us. It's actually one of my favorite moments of the whole week is getting to just play music with everybody all together. It's really fun to look at some of this repertoire with different types of people because as soon as you get different personalities into the room, it totally changes the dynamic of how the rehearsal goes and what the finished product will be. We talk a lot about chamber music and chamber music skills but I really believe that those skills are really universal. We really hope that the students can take the chamber music skills that they learn at the seminar and then apply it to all areas of their music making. One thing I really hope that participants get out of the seminar is this feeling of, of being a contributor, uh, having something that you can offer to the world. Um, I think oftentimes we move through the world thinking what can we get, but I think it's way more valuable to think, what can I give? Uh, and I think people often leave the seminar feeling like they have a lot to offer.